one and I stand on that You and me, babe, that's black on black But Juicy okay. Smollett uh, uh, just <laughs> lost his, not on purpose. This is just the way the right, producer right. laid this stuff up for me. Uh, he took an L in court today. Mm. He was his conviction for the hoax where he said some races threw bleach on him and called them the N-word and the F-word and all a bunch of ho- oh, In the cold winter of Chicago on the streets, it went below 50 below degrees temperature. And two Africans said, and they, they were they African? Two brothers. I think they were mm. African. Yeah, uh, they were African. Yeah, brothers, I don't want to disparage anybody, but they said that they were paid to do this. Uh, A court found him guilty. He was in appeals. The appeals court said, no, sir, two to one. They upheld the conviction. Now, here's Roderick. He he was uh, sentenced to 150 uh, days, years, 150 day sentence he got. Mm -hmm. Why did he just just do it? He was convicted in Mm -hmm. 2022. Now, you don't waste it another whole year Mm -hmm. for something that happened three years ago, three, four years ago. And you still gonna have to serve those 150 days. He should have just done that, got it behind him, worked out, worked on his character, went through some sort of psychological, you know, counseling, and he would have a career to come back to. He would have missed a writer's strike, you know, all of this, right. come back, been like, hey, I know there's a Tyler Perry series out there for me, something, right? right? Well, everything you're saying is valid if you're willing to admit you lied which he is not willing to admit. So he's sticking with his story to this day. And even with this guilty conviction, he will be walking around saying, I am a political prisoner. They are doing this because I'm too dangerous to the system. Wait, what? Is that is that what he's saying? He's yeah, dangerous he, to the system? He, How? he has never said that it was a hoax, that he lied. He 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 says he's a victim of you know the, everybody railroaded him. So I don't but think for he what can. Purpose? When, was Juicy Smollett anybody that anybody was paying? So here's the problem. Here's his problem. Mm-hmm. This whole thing happened in the dead of winter in Chicago, and if I remember, it was like a mm-hmm. record low yeah. temperature. Even Chicagoans were like, "This is a lie. Right. Ain't nobody outside and like two, going three to in the morning. At two in the morning, and, yeah, and Chicago." <laughs> Even the races are in the house. It's cold outside. Ain't nobody got bleach. And does bleach yeah. freeze at a certain temperature? I'm confused by know. him holding to the story. This is yeah. This I, is I mean, and then there's a lot of evidence of him coordinated. Of course, the the two brothers are like, we don't want no problems. This is exactly what happened. This the money that was exchanged, the text messages, and with all that, <sighs> Ju- Ju- uh, Ju- Jesse is saying he ain't do. He, he this is a political attack on him. Because, you know, MAGA and all those people are afraid of a black gay man. He says the the gay Tupac and, and they need to shut what? him down. What? Wait, yeah, he what? Said, you don't remember Wait. him saying he was the gay Tupac? That probably, I probably what? blacked out. I probably blacked out because it just, that's so ridiculous yeah. that I probably just was like, nah, that's not possible. It was, it was a didn't. lot, man. And I'm a I'm person that I extend the benefit of the doubt. So like when it first started, like I knew it sounded improbable, but I'm like, I don't know. Racism is crazy and Maybe some, maybe it's something happening I just don't know about. But you know, as more stuff got exposed to me, it became obvious this man is lying. And then it became like, well, why are you still fighting? Because the Chicago police don't play; they already don't play with innocent black people. So if you play in their face, <laughs> right. you know they gonna try to get you. And and I feel like he just kept, he wouldn't back down, and now he's he might be going to jail, jail for real. That's sad. Well. I feel like he should just 150 days. What's that? Four four months and ten days. Four months. So, and 10 about days, half a year, four, right? Four. Something like that. Three hundred sixty. Yeah. Four, yeah four half, you're right, you're no, right. it's like yeah, it's like four four, four, four months yeah. and some days and twenty days. Right. Uh, is it five months? Wait, twenty. It's thirty days in a month. Mm-hmm. T- some of the months times four. That's one twenty right. plus another thirty. Okay, it's exactly five. Okay, I yeah. like some minutes. Five months. Five months. So just do it to five months. That's it. You could. Be, he could be out by the summer. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, summer. yeah, I just, there was a time when he would have done no time. Right. <laughs> like, he would have just been like, yeah, okay, my bad, y'all caught me. Man, I just can't see going to jail for this, but hey, good luck to him. If you have, have you ever been uh, in court or hemmed up with any kind of lawsuit or anything? I've been life? in court before, but just for light stuff, like a traffic ticket. Okay, so but you've never been serious. sued and have to defend mm-hmm. yourself. And like, I'm just looking at the legal bill that he is incurring by the appeal. Like, 
So you already don't have a career because ain't really don't. Well, during yeah. his uh, during his appeals time, he has directed a film, dropped new music. Smith, let's find some Jesse Smollett music that was dropped during this time. I'm I'm just curious. I want to know is if it, it was any good. Is it, uh, is it the music from the um, TV show or is something different? No, he he's apparently it, it said during his appeal. Uh -huh. And I'm only calling him Juicy because that's what Dave Chappelle called him. Mm -hmm. But I know that's probably uh, J Dave is not right right now. So let <laughs> yeah, me not yeah, do that. Yeah. All right, Jesse. Jesse <laughs> dropped new music. <laughs> he directed He directed a film with Vivica Fox. And he worked out. He worked out with Taraji P. Henson. He went to rehab. He did go to rehab. And mm -hmm. he shaved his head. So this is what he's been doing. He could have done that in jail. I'm just saying but all of this that, stuff. That was, that's all the that music. is valid. I mean, even valid. the music could have been done because R. Kelly putting out songs. Yeah, everything you said is facts. That that that's absolutely okay. he could have done that. All right, all right. So there's that. I just want him to tell the truth. <laughs> y'all, y'all remember that from that that season? Oh my god! Tell the truth. Did you did you was... watch? Did you watch? Yeah, that I love that show. The first season of that show was amazingly ridiculous, and I'm sorry to anybody that don't get it. That you don't get fun. It was so fun. It lost something as. It got it went along and they start taking it more serious and uh they had the off the court stuff. But man, on that first season, oh, I'll never forget some of them moments. The drip drop song. Oh I used, <laughs> I used to be singing them songs for real. I mean, those songs were bangers. What they are you were talking banging. about? You act like they weren't real songs. They were real songs. It was Child real to Empire. me, damn it. I was playing Shoot. them things on my Spotify playlist. Okay. Man, them were some real <laughs> good songs. Uh now they got the kingdom. The kingdom, uh, what's it? The damn kingdom on BET. Oh, they got, so they got something people. new. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I think Kirk Franklin. I think Kirk Franklin oh, produces it. What? It's uh, starring um, who's the one that? Oh my goodness, um, she's a gospel singer. God, I can see she's really. Oh, tall. so it's like a it's uh, like a gospel version of the other show of, of Empire. Yeah, because all of the other all the all of the oh. women from Empire, except for Taraji and them, uh, Kingdom's Business. I think it's called. Kingdom's oh. Business on, on BET, and it's uh, <laughs> star, it stars Yolanda a Adams, uh, Soraya McNeil, who played um, she was an Empire. Tamar's on there too. Tamar Braxton, wow. uh, Michael J. White. It's 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 almost as ridiculous as Empire, right? Because it's got Yolanda Adams is a good villain, by the way. She's mean really? and nasty as hell on this. Yeah, she plays a pastor she runs a, a kingdom of gospel something uh i think she's a pastor danita jordan um hmm. no she's a gospel singer and uh michael J jai white um is uh is her rival it's 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 deliciously bad it, okay good at the okay. same time you might have sold me I'm, I'm always game for some mess all right I, I was gonna put it on my what to watch list with like a string of bet things you could watch right. during the holidays because they, right. got, they got every bet is doing a lot for the holidays they got one series like a christmas series with um whitney from uh that jasmine guys on it, mm -hmm. it's got this with uh, the guy that plays hey professor from the parkers they mm. they're married it's there's some good stuff on bet that's okay, really BET, bad i'll see y'all